Hi wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Dreda D. Rose report. Hope you guys got the uh, Hardcore Justice uh, TNA pay-per-view last night. I really thought it was pretty good. It was unusual it was the way it was done uh, and a lot different, which <laughs> that's why I liked it. Well, I thought it was pretty good. There were some matches that was really slow and uh, poor old Dreamer mm, looked bad. And uh, the Dudley's match, it was it was slow and bad. It was all really predictable because all everybody expected, and it happened. Everybody did the predictable thing that they always did, uh, and it was good to see it again. Uh, don't know how long that could really last, but I feel sorry for the TNA wrestlers, man. To uh, and if this pay per view goes over real big and their DVD sales goes over big, that's it's kind of a slap in the face. It actually for. Uh, but anyway, we'll see what goes on with the uh, taping tonight. Tomorrow I'll let you know how, uh, if I see any uh, spoilers on the TNA tapings. Anyway, some of the wrestlers are saying that Tommy Dreamer has specifically stated in phone conversations that he's inches away from taking over head writer position currently occupied by uh, Vince Russo. He told some of his former uh, ECW colleagues that he has ideas for them and there's a chance they'll be, be getting contracts with the organization. So it sounds like to me, uh, shades of uh, Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff. They did that to their buddies. It still didn't do any good, though. Ratings-wise, number-wise. Anyway, a number of uh, backstage videos last night from uh, Hardcore Justice Pay-Per-View are available on Jeremy Borash's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, the videos include Tommy Dreamer being stitched up backstage following his match with uh, Raven and Brother Ray. Uh... Simon Diamond and Al Snow giving their thoughts on the event. And Rosie Lotta Love revealed on her Twitter that she's not being used at this week's Impact taping. Uh, the television taping is uh, she's not appearing on Impact. Uh, she hadn't appeared on Impact since June 3rd. Apparently, uh, she didn't have enough love. In an update from an earlier post, Sabu Sandman, Too Cold Scorpio, which has got the most monster ears I've ever seen. Uh, FBI, Kid Cash, and Bill Alfonso all are backstage at tonight's uh, TNA Impact taping. Alfonso and Scorpio were uh, live in the arena, but other wrestlers uh, kept around by TNA officials uh, for the taping. And, you know, Bill Alfonso, uh, you ever hear of uh, Decaf? The former ECW's uh, wrestlers were scanned for action figures this weekend in Orlando, and there was also talk about uh, doing a trading card set. Uh, Raven's Lackey Lupus uh, was played by uh, one of the students from Team 3D's wrestling school, by the way, and he got a ball wire in the, match, in the mouth. Uh, didn't look too good. Anyway, Jerry Lynn was not at Hardcore Justice because he was, uh, and it was true, about a back injury. Uh, there was a situation at Hardcore Justice where P.J. Pal uh, Palico, or Just Incredible, as the crowd shouted and chanted, uh, was asked to remove his shirt because it said his name and had an ECW logo on the back. Incredible wore it during his entrance, but was told by security who told officials to remove the shirt. Uh, probably bought it at Target. No, wait a minute. He, uh, he worked at Olive Garden, wasn't it? Maybe they sell at Olive Garden. Any word is that Incredible had to use his real name because an indie wrestler and promoter, promoter with a grudge had his girlfriend trademarked the name Just Incredible Name. WWE doesn't own any incredible names. Somebody else does. So is, does Vince have a twin brother? Hmm. And, you know, I've always complained about the ECW uh, fans. They are constantly shouting and chanting, and it gets nerve-wracking. In fact, right at the beginning of the show, when uh, Taz came out and started to speak, he finally told the crowd, to stop chanting, stop shouting. I want you to listen to what i got to say. Good going, Taz. When news broke, the former WWE uh, superstar Batista was entering the world of mixed martial arts uh, and will be fighting for a Strike Force MMA promotion later this year. Speculation began immediately that we could see him fight against fellow alumni uh, Bobby Lashley, which is at 5 0. Lashley was a part of Strike Force Media Conference uh, called this, this afternoon, I guess, and commented on a possible showdown in a cage with uh, Batista. Lashley said, He's open for fighting Batista if Strike Four pushes the fight, but he'd rather focus a little bit more on experienced fighters in his quest for the gold. Must be their locale. Uh, 
anyway, most of the ECW uh, talent, by the way, that was brought in specifically for the pay-per-view headed out this morning, but Sandman Samu remained in Orlando, uh, according to ProWrestling.net. No word yet on whether they'll uh, be used on, at tonight's special, the whole F in the show, taping. Uh, anyway, Aaron Thursday night on Spike. We've uh, received emails, uh, well, this, uh, uh, they're talking anyway. They received emails who attended, uh, people who attended last night's uh, pay-per-view uh, that said upwards to a thousand fans were turned away from the Impact Zone due to the venue being so full. And it did look full. Though. I noticed they didn't have the ramp that it was kind of level with the ring this time either. You had to go up and in. Dwayne Rock Johnson's new movie, The Other Guy, starring uh, Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg, opened at number one this weekend, took in $35.6 million. Johnson, Lee, Johnson is currently in uh, Puerto Rico filming The Fast and Furious 5. Whew. They're going to catch up with Rambo here in a minute. Uh, or Rocky, I guess. With uh, Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, uh, seem to be sporting a new stone cold look with a shaved head and goatee. I think we've seen that on, uh, he was on some show the other day. Uh, Ray Mysterio will be hosting SummerSlam Fatherhood and mentor, uh, Mentoring uh, Rallies for Fathers of Families on Friday the 13th from 7 p.m. at the Bishop Moral Salian High School in Los Angeles. All right, 11 years ago on Raw, Chris Jericho made his uh, WWE debut on Raw. Uh, Jericho interrupted The Rock as he was uh, cutting a ring promo. And in case you missed it, Dolph Ziggler defeated Kofi Kingston this past Friday's SmackDown uh, to become the, inter uh, the IC champion. All right, tonight's uh, Go Home edition of uh, Raw was going to be taking place at the Arco Center, Sa uh, Sacramento, California. The main event's going to be John Cena and Bret Hart taking on Edge and Chris Jericho with Nexus at ringside as Lumberjacks. Hacksaw uh, Jim Duggan was inducted to the first ever class of Capital Region Football Hall of Fame in New York City this past Saturday. Duggan couldn't uh, appear live uh, at the ceremony because of independent wrestling uh, booking. John Cena presented uh, an award to the Team Choice Awards last uh, night in Los Angeles. The show is going to be airing on Fox tonight. And after you've read this, or rather, uh, well, unless it be a rerun, but uh, I meant before, my fault. My fault entirely, always. Shawn Michaels at uh, Canyon Lake, Texas, uh, this weekend, a second annual cardboard boat race uh, that benefits uh, St. June Children's Hospital. Uh, Big Show versus CM Punk, Luke Gallo, and Joey Mercury in a three-on-one handicap match is added to SummerSlam on this past Friday SmackDown. The fake Blue Meanie, by the way, I know you've been wondering who that was, at last night's Hardcore Justice pay-per-view was called Blue Tilly, was none other than Big Tilly from Phi Delta Slam, and worked a, as a security guard at uh, TNA. The nose-picking mystery guy in the beginning of the Al Snow, Snow segment and Stevie Richards and Nova was supposed to be Lupus, but uh, it was one of Raven's lackeys from uh, a few months in uh, ECW. Some of the, uh, well, I'm getting thirsty. Some of the names backstage visiting Hardcore Justice were Matt Morgan, uh, Motor City Machine Guns, The Fist, Jimmy Hart, Dory Funk Jr., uh, Vince Russo, Eric Bischoff, Mick Foley, Brother uh, Ray, Tommy Dreamer, all had their families there. Word among the locker room is that the following ECW performers were among those not contacted by uh, to appear at last night's Hardcore Justice pay-per-view. Don't know why Dawn Marie wasn't. Jim Sinister Minister Mitchell, uh, referee... Uh, Jim uh, Malaxi, manager Jason Knight, and ring announcer uh, Bob Artis. Maybe they're going to get a hold of them. Don't know where they're at. They need to look at uh, where are they now, I think. The individual who portrayed the ECW character Lupus in Hardcore Justice scheduled to be, uh, work a match tonight's uh, television taping, likely against Jesse Neal. Samoa so Joe, he wasn't backstage at uh, last night's uh, Impact taping, television uh, taping either. He's currently serving his suspension due to an incident that took place on July 13th, te television taping. He wasn't a nice guy, so they suspended him for a while, maybe a month. Bad joke. I gotta go. <laughs>